Hey y'all, this is Urson. Welcome back to Operation Ashes and Temples. We continue to try to deal with the alien waves that are assaulting our position. Uh, Wolf needs, I think, I'm gonna actually have Wolf reload. I mean, I could also, though... Yeah, here's the rub. I can get this guy down, but I'd rather not burn the command charge until I absolutely need to, if we need to get maybe more shots on Sugar or something. So I'm gonna take the reload here on Wolf. And I'm gonna take the Overwatch on Krungle. We did have Sentinel. It's gonna provide us a lot of flexibility. What's going to come out of there next? I mean, it's not anyone's guess. We kind of have a pretty good idea what's coming out of here. So that drone... Oh, I was going to say, that drone hit itself, but it didn't. Good hit, Krungle. Are we going to get another round on that thing? Nope, just the one. Cyberdisc coming up. Cyberdisc coming awfully close to Mammy, which I'm not happy about. What are you shooting at? Or are you grenading? Who are you grenading? Oh, my, uh, my blue shirt, my blue shirt. My blue shirt, Butters is doing fine. Zhang totally DR'd off all three damage there. We've almost got the auxiliary power Not Zhang, sorry. Uh, Zergen just DR'd off all three. Zergen's a freaking badass. Okay. So not much came up here, which is great. This provides us some flexibility. I'm gonna need Sugar's penetrative shots, though, to deal with the cyber disc. Do you have eyes on the cyber disc? You do. What kind of cyber disc is it? Basic cyber disc. So this is probably the least dangerous of the bunch. So we're going to probably... I uh, would love to reload, but the heat ammo is too important um, to, to do anything about. I need to kill that cyber disc. Grenades are always a liability. Let's go ahead and take a swing at the cyber disc. This is all we have on rounds right now, but let's do it. This should do good heat ammo damage, though. 13. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Mammy also should have hit and run, because I don't think it's actually floating, which is a blessing, honestly. Non-floating cyber discs is awesome. Yep, you're not floating either, so that's going to be a huge help. Again, we're probably going to hit massive DR here, but it's hollow and it's one damage. Wow, Mammy with the low rolls. The one damage shotguns. That's kind of that's kind of just pissing me off a wee bit, not going to lie. John can probably do some good work here, and as long as we set it up for kind of Wolf's easy execution mode, that's going to be fine. Dry. That's all right. We can set that up and keep it moving. Surprised we don't have 100% on that drone, but I'm not going to complain. Let's kill the cyber disc first. I'm not sure why our aim is so bad on that drone, actually. Like, legit, why? Just a flying target. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's, the drone is technically higher than me? Nah. I don't know why that aim is so bad, but okay. 92 on Krungle. We have a much better chance on a couple other folks here. Now, I want to be able to take free shots with Zergen. What is still out there? Still two heavy floaters out there. We're going to eliminate this one this round, I think. I don't have a lot of good cover positions. I can't really go just completely ham. Butters is still here. Butters, man. You got a 66% chance. Is that SOB not floating up there? He's not floating either. Okay, so I got to take take the easy kills when I can. Mammy's obviously not in cover anymore, so we're going to have to move his ass out of here ASAP. And at which point are you going to start seeing stuff? I think the hollow globe doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't break. So I'm pretty sure we can get... Can't get him up, though. Again, not that I'm worried about having enough firepower to handle this. I'm trying to think, you know, three steps ahead and have enough firepower to handle what's coming next. That we just do this very, very, very efficiently. The drones repairing drones would be irritating, which I don't want to see either. This is going to be eyes on the drone up there. Wolf, what is your eyes on that drone? That's a good question. Or do you have eyes on that drone? That drone is just bef just behind somewhere where Wolf can't see him. Okay, that's a, that's a clever fucking drone. He's using the columns. No, he's just... No, technically I should see that guy. There's no column between here. I can draw a straight line between Wolf and that drone. So that's that's another level of bullshit, but all right. I'll, I'll say that that's legit. For the sake of argument, so I don't start fetching for 40 minutes. 
I can probably take this, and that gives us eyes. Not that. This. Does this give us eyes on the little dude? It doesn't. I really need Mammy to swing that little drone down. Because that would be saving me a turn. Alright, Mammy, go yeah, ahead here. Come on we need him to break Overwatch anyway, so it may be better to keep him low where a lot of things will see him. 83. I'll take the 83. That's pretty much a good kill. Yep. Il est mort. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of mechanical enemies. That's why the DR is hard. But when we start seeing like mutons and berserkers and stuff running up on us and chrysalids, uh, it's going to be much, 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 much better when we have those shotguns around. So I'm still, I stand by my staffing decision on that. Zhang only sees this, which Krungle also sees, which will probably provide me the opportunity to reload Zhang's gun better. Let's take that 92. Yep. Okay, that's a crit. That Krungle can give me an Overwatch. Zhang will be able to reload. Wolf can just in the zone him down. Okay, Zhang, take the reload. reload. And yeah, Wolf, go ahead and drop this guy because this is very, very easy for you. Very easy shot. Get some. some has been gotten. Okay. Now Krungle's in a funny position. You have enough for two rounds, though, don't you? You do, and that's enough for the Sentinel Overwatch. We can always reload Suppress next round if we need to. Now, Zergen... Zergen is an interesting spot, also. Because I kind of want to use him up here, but he doesn't really have the ability to do that without Run and Gun. And Run and Gun's most definitely on cooldown right now. The coolest thing about this position right now, though, is that the Cyber Discs are down. Which, that's always, if you know this mission, that's always, like, a big deal. It's like, oh my god, we finally have a break. Because uh, those are the guys who can run in on you, they can suicide run you, and just have a really, really bad time. So I'm going to get Zergen up so I can get to a high ground with him at some point. Roger that. So you don't really see that damn tracker drone at We're all. We reload go. the reflex cannon so I have full rounds. Krungle, give me an overwatch on that tracker drone. Wolf, how many rounds do you have left? You have two rounds left in the mag. Uh, that might not be enough for in the zone change next round, so let me get this going. Look at me going, oh, I'll have in the zone change, no problem. You go ahead and hunker. Looks like we've got hostile reinforcements and we've got reinforcements coming from behind. That's what I was worried about. I really don't like that, because we try to deal with this pack ahead of time, but they always have like two or three floaters still just available to screw with us. Sucking on my fast. Yeah, it's definitely sucking. What is drone doing? So basically have one turn to deal with these enemies here. Wow, 12 damage from boss drone. What the hell, man? What the hell? What do we have? We have Thin Mans. Okay, he doesn't have that many HPs. We have Lid, which has lots of HPs. We have Sectoid, which doesn't have many HPs. We have another Sectoid. Okay. Okay, so the... the what is this? Got more reinforcements awaiting hey, orders, Blue Shirt. As soon as the power banks spool up again, I'll send another group through. One with more than three HP. This is good. Alright, so I'm really surprised by how much damage that freaking drone did, seriously. What the hell is that thing in eating? Legit. The fuck? We've got hollow targeting evasion overlook. This thing just does just ludicrous damage for some reason. Which is frustrating, because I really shouldn't have taken that much of my mech. But okay. I'm gonna keep bitching until things improve, till morale improves. Alright, and then Zhang has two shots on this thing as well, I think. Sugar needs to reload her ammo and come back here. I think dealing with the lid is priority. It's right there. Which may, which may necessitate Zhang moving out of position. Zhang can take a lid shock, so I think he's equipped with carapace, yeah. He's got chitin plating on, so that's probably okay. Almost kind of want to put butters here and be like, take him! Because I'd rather not have Zhang take the damage and take the pain. Uh, yeah. I have the Thin Man, who could acid us, but again, most of us are wearing Titan, so it shouldn't be that much of an issue. I need to reload my mech. That's my my second biggest issue here. My first biggest issue is that this SOB does not want to die. I may want to put Zergen on this door, though. If that lid tries to come out, we'll be able to pound it in the face with CQC. But it kind of looks like a bossy lid. Maybe it has the whole lightning reflex bullshit. I don't know. How much DR do you have, you ornery piece of crap? Some, but not that much. That's fine. Like Krungle, I'm going to need you to take this shot and then reload, I think. Unless we can drop it and have Krungle just over reload and overwatch, because that might be more efficient use of our time. Can we drop the thing without using Krungle? That's a damn good question. Zergen might be able to, actually. 
get a swing up here. Kind of cover the lid door and take that first CQC pain shot first. Let's see if we can drop this thing with a reflex cannon. This is going to be pretty good. 10 damage. Okay. I'll live with that. I'll live with that, mainly because Wolf can drop it now pretty easily. Drop it. As long as my Squish Sniper is safe, kind of in the middle ground here, I'll be alright. 100% Wolf. Damn. See, now I'm thinking what I may want to do. First of all, reload Krungle, because we're going to do that no matter what we do. Now I'm thinking it may behoove me to force Wolf to double shoot and we can drop that heavy floater. Then we're almost done with the floaty pack. Because this thing only has... Yeah, thing only has about 19 HP. So if Wolf gets some good shots in on this thing, it's going to drop. Eight. That's not what I would define as a good shot. But Sugar needs to get out back here and get me some reloads so we can deal with the stuff coming in from behind. Not that I'm afraid of her health. She's got the repair servo, so I want to kind of minimize the damage we're taking there. Let me one for all and just take the reload. Alright, Krungle. Doesn't have eyes. Myers. Myers, let me know where that Thin Man is, huh? That would be quite useful. I'm a little worried that there could be something coming in on Myers from there. Let me bring Myers right here. It may be a good target for the Thin Man that's not Krungle, so that's fine. Got a laser rifle, though. Hey! La <laughs> Myers decided to get the better equipment. That's kind of smart. Alright, Butters. You're going to be doing a similar role for me. You're going to figure out where the hell the nasty stuff is, and you're going to tell me when it comes in. So that lid might try to take a chomp out of your face, and I want to make sure that I can deal with that should move. it come to that. Chances are I'm not. I'm going to be well insulated from the front position here because of the two tiles across. This will provide me a good vantage point on stuff. So Zhang will keep watch on the lid. Mammy is a tad low on ammo, and I can't really do much there. So I'm going to pull Mammy back and reload the rounds. And then we'll probably have Mammy deal with some of the ground pounders back there. Oh, so you briefly saw the lid from there. That's freaky. Freaky deaky, my man. Freaky deaky. Oh, God. Let me take the reload, though. A la massacre. All right, well, go ahead and do that massacre. All right, we're just going to do it like this. I don't want to burn the command yet, I don't think. If we get in really bad positions, I'll burn the command. But for now, we're okay. The lid is going to be the major liability here. Zhang's got 82. Good damage, Zhang. Good damage. Okay, he took full cover, which is frustrating. Zhang got 100 right there. Oh, you don't let Zhang get eyes on you. Finished. That one is finished. Lid didn't do anything. WTF, mate. That's kind of weird. The lid decided just to say, hey, where'd it go? Is it still here? Let's see if it's still here. There could be a lot of Overwatch here. No, that position is clear. Where did the freaking lid go? No, it's... We can move to... Huh? Oh. Let's see. This could also just be the whole... XCOM is afraid of heights. No. I think the lid might be right there. I'm beginning to suspect that's where the lid is. Let's take a look. This is our usual cheat method for figuring out where the enemy is. Yup! That lid's gotta be there. So Zergen, that's your new job. Your new job is to deal with the lid. What is back there? It's a thin man, two sectoids, and a lid. Okay. Now, we have some intel we can gather with Mammy, if needed. But ideally, we can just get intel via via blue shirt. Kind of see where the hey, enemies are at. New contacts detected. Hey, hey, what's up, little dude? Oh, you can maybe wreck this little sectoid. Butters, Butters, you could be MVP right now. Do you want to be MVP, Butters? I know you do. Jean, can you cover that door as well? Jean can't quite cover the door, which makes it a little more difficult to handle the lid. All right. Now, we have eyes on this for Wolf. It's 94. That may be a time to burn the command, I think. So we can just freaking clear the back room and move forward. I'm just glad we more or less got out of the, uh, the cyber disc heavy deployment without too many problems. 
I'm actually going to go ahead, forget the flank, I'm going to go ahead and AP this. I mean, the Secto is not that scary, and I'm going to hold that off, actually. It may be more efficient for, like, a desperation move when there's a lid about to bear down on somebody. <laughs> I said bear. Okay. So we're still not sure where the enemies are. Okay. Let me deal with the one position I know I have to deal with. Let me take that 94. Yeah, let me take that 94. Nice shot. Okay, I think, yeah, this is gonna this is gonna definitely call for a Krungle type command. Let me get Krungle on this door then. Command Wolf. Should be fine. What is giving us the vision of that? It's definitely not Krungle though, right? I mean, if I'm gonna move Krungle, I don't wanna lose the vision that Wolf is using to spot. It's not Krungle, okay. Krungle, get on this door. Not seeing much from there. Endless Command Wolf. I'm just checking through my options here. Wolf is up. Let's get Wolf for another shot here. We'll take him another round to reload. But if we can just drop this heavy floater. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. All right. Weapons dry, but that's totally fine. Perfect. Okay. So now, back side is clear. Front side is where the action is. So we're going to rotate the map so we remember that. And we're going to go on and try and figure out where the rest of these enemies are. Moving out. Okay, we're using blue shirts for intel. We've got a laser rifle on this particular blue shirt, so this could be pretty good. Thin Man didn't freaking move. Hi! 94% on a blue shirt. Not bad. So the threat is still the lid, which I'm still unclear as to where it is. Mammy, I don't think can give us what I need to know. Eh, he might be able to. Yeah, he might be able to get eyes on the lid from here. Mm, that yeah, might be good. If not, we can throw a battle scanner. So thank you, Mammy's mobility. Yeah, the lid's still there. I just saw it going up the ladder. Yep. 73. Pretty good with the hit and run. And between Zerg and Mammy, we can handle the lid, no probskis. Yup. Okay, well, now we know exactly what we're dealing with, so that's perfect. Zerg, get me up on that lid. Get me up on this lid right here. Roger that. Yup. What's up? Nice. Uh, now I could say hit me again. Uh, that's probably still the best move. Again, I'm trying to think about efficiency with red shirts as well. Zhang is going to come up here and reload. I think that's the best thing he can do. I am on it. Because I need that gun spouting Let lots and lots of ammo as needed. And now Sugar, I was thinking I may be able to find some way to deal with that Thin Man with Sugar, but that doesn't look like it's going to be possible. So we could AP this as well. Right on top of that Thin Man's jawline. Wait, what is your odds to crit there? 94 and 50 that, I mean, that could well be a kill. We could totally crit laser rifle range on that. We could. But I'm going to start moving sugar out here. There could be another sector that I can drop if I'm lucky. Still debating what to do with butters. All right, so we're going to just drop the lid. That's a guaranteed kill. We won't waste Mammy's ammo. Maybe Mammy can actually serve as an advanced guard to give us some intel on where the hell the damn sector went. What else do we have? There we go. All right, I figured there's going to be a lightning reflex from somewhere. Where's that shot coming from? There we go. That's what I was trying to avoid moving into in my mech, and sure enough, and there he is. Okay, fine. So Butters is actually faced with two sectoids. And Myers is faced there. Krungle is on high ground without much to do. Sugar could actually provide a lot of support here. Do I really want to use an explosive on a fucking sectoid, though? That's a... Oh, we actually have a flank. On what? Yeah, I was hoping for something like that. Cool. 11% versus about 4% to miss. All right, so we can save our blue shirt a lot of time and agony by taking this rapid fire. Handled! Okay. Blue shirt. You going on Overwatch. You got a mech guardian angel over you. So, butters with that in mind. Keep that Overwatch blue shirt. All right, Krungle. Not that useful for Krungle to be back here. I'm gonna start inching Krungle up to there. Uh, Cause we know that's where the next mech pack gets dropped in. So let's go right around this corner. So Butters. Let me 
let me butter's not gonna last long. So let's go ahead and deal with an AP here to maybe kill this little sectoid. Because we're not gonna be able to crit, and the damage here isn't that good. The odds aren't very good, let's see. 63, like that's not awesome. 94 was a lot better. And we don't have a laser rifle. So go ahead. Carbine the shit up. With the AP. Seven damage. Butters. MVP. Butters MVP. Yo, have eyes on that sector. He may take a shot at Mammy. Commander. Or he may run like a bitch. Sensors aren't detecting any other hostiles near the command center. You've good. Got that area under control. Fabulous, Bradford. That's good news. I appreciate that intel. Kinda knew that already. Alright. Now, Mammy. I mean, this is for people who haven't done this mission before. I suppose it's important intel. So the sectoid looks like he ran in here. Can we get an idea, maybe? Yeah, I think he's right there in that corner. Which should give Mammy a clean shot over these half-height boxes. Yeah, if I get Mammy right there, that's gonna run through any Overwatch he's got. And give us a clean look at the little bastard. Where are you? Yep, he's sitting on that freaking sitting on that overwatch like it's his job it kind of is I guess sectoids kind of do that that and suppression all right 94 with hit and run mammy taking care of business all right so Sekitoid handled good let's get mammy on something resembling high ground before the next wave hits I want to be able to hit and run with him like a bouse so, Wolf, your job as our resident ass-kicking sniper to reload your gun. That's job one. Job two is to get in this position and start overwatching. Or into a firing position. Firing solutions are overwatching. Back online. Okay, Butters. Butters, you may be playing target for a little bit there, buddy. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to be a fun job. You're not going to like it. But Moving out. I'm going to need to get vision with Wolf, and you're going to be our spotter. Locked and loaded. She's like, I have three HP. I'm aware, but you'll be doing a great service. Moving to and position. if you do your job right, then a wolf can absolutely obliterate anything coming anywhere near us, and we should be fine. Now, that's if. Uh, it depends on how good you are at your job. I'm going to try to get Myers up to that full cover position as well, up by that box. Okay, Zhang, the Qilong. Uh, get you up I'll there so up we can the overwatch the next drop probably how much do you have repair servos are done so that's fine now what I also need can I I can't get quite on high ground here that's the one downside with the mech without jumpy legs I don't have a high ground position I can get to I can kind of get here though where no one else can really take cover and get a decent high ground advantage on anyone down here so I think that's worthwhile on my mech kind of get that corner get the mech reloaded and we can start taking rapid fire shots on the mech toys and inevitably drop in like the plague. Remember last time we were here we had like seven mech toys drop Sexy. in plus sectopods and all sorts of evil. So yeah not so good. All right let's go ahead and steady up if we can. Zergen is a wee bit low on rounds and I'm probably gonna need Zergen to be like our frontline running force to deal with whatever's coming in. But for now, just because he's starting to reload and we're not sure where it's going to come in from, I'm going to keep him on high ground. Remember, his PK strike is handy, too, to set up kills. Okay, so there's no new enemies and no new drop-ins, so I guess we handle those pretty quickly, which is good. So the question is now, where, where the next drop is going to be? Uh, I do want Krungle on this high ground, though. I don't really want to afford this position. That's not enough of an aim advantage to be willing to take... Uh, low cover over. Now, there is another strategy we can use that after we handle this pack, we can kind of run up here and there's a lot more full cover to be had. The problem is, I, I tend not to do that because the enemies bunch really hard here and then shit gets nasty with a quickness. Uh, so, that's kind of a use it or lose it scenario. I mean, we could also hold them on the doors here, which may be smart. Yeah, this is a lot of full cover and that gives us a really good position to shoot down at them. So this may be a advanced position we use once we handle this wave. If we can do it with some reasonable amount of efficiency. All right, Butters. Uh, what is this full cover, this full cover? Yeah, that's full cover for Butters. Butters, get up here. I need you giving me vision. Not too far, remember the next drops are here. There, there. I mean, they're not always exactly where the, the dust is, obviously, but. Moving to position. Get up there. Get Myers up here. I'm on the move. That provide us vision potentially. The thing with the grenades they're equipped with, they're not 
HE, so we can't really use them as cover clearing ser service, which is a little bit of a downside, but it's not too bad. All right, Zhang, yeah, keep it up here. Keep it on the DL for now. Zergen. Yeah, like I said, you're going to be frontlining, so, I mean, honestly, you probably are best off sitting kind of where Butters oh is, God. and then just straight up running up on fools. That'd be great. And the psychic stuff goes through cover, so we can get pretty good angles on the PK strike as well. So I think that's a good kind of a setup position for him. Uh, Sugar, I'm actually going to push forward a little more while maintaining the high ground, because we might be able to get just that right angle. Things tend to come through these doors, because there's two doors here. So if there is something dropping back there, we'll have a good line on it. Let's one for all and overwatch. Krungle is fine there. I want infantry on the high ground dropping lots and lots of fire. Withering amounts of fire. Wolf, eventually going to start getting to this position. That mid-ground is exactly what I need from him, usually. It's destructible. Everything up here is destructible, but... Ideally, we can just drop anything that comes in quickly. Yep, there we go. There's activity. Near the mech bay commander. Sectoid. Oh, he's going to have bad day. Oh, Meyer's got a shot in on him. Yeah, so when you see sectoids coming in at this quantity, you know mechtoid is coming in afterwards. I think that yeah, there's a mechtoid. Found it. I guessed right with uh Ooh, that's not so good. And a sectoid master. Oh shit, that's a Leviathan. That's not so good. Alright. So we got some problems. We got Triple Mectoid, one on really high ground. The Leviathan is right there. Zergen, what do you see? You just see that guy. Zergen can't quite get up to where the Leviathan is, and Zergen's in a nasty spot, dude. Oh shit. The Leviathan is not funny. Because that. We need so much damage to handle that. And now I'm starting to kind of regret using my command on Krungle last turn. Because we won't have the damage to kill this thing. And it does so much. 77. Look at that shit. So we need... We need, need, need... Mammy's Hollow. And this thing has reactives, if I'm not mistaken. So we got to keep that in mind. Reactives, yeah. It has reactives. I don't think even unloading every single round we have on is going to be enough to kill it. We may need to save Krungle for a suppression to keep that down, but the problem is the other mech toy is just going to freaking run a train on us if we do that. Shit, man. Not really liking that. I mean, what do we know about the other mech toys? That's the other thing. Because Wolf's got pretty good eyes on nearly everything that we're faced with right now. So we can drop the commander and we have no problem with him. What do we actually have? Three mech toys, one sector, one commander. So only one thing can give him a shield. And that's back there, which which Myers actually sees, which is great. So Myers can probably just tuck in here and toss a grenade and maybe kill that little guy. That way there's at least no shields for the mech toys. And that's going to help. The suppression is going to be important. But there's no way we're dropping this much mechanical meat in one go. There's absolutely no way. So Mammy. So we're going to try and take a swing... Maybe drop that sectoid. That'll save us the trouble, too. This is hit and run as well, yep. Okay, no mind shield for you. Okay, and now we can get Mammy back to a somewhat safer position of not getting ripped in the face by uh, mech units. So, Wolf, I'm going to ask you... Jesus, I'm so close to that Leviathan, though. There's no way where that Leviathan doesn't see me, though. Yeah, so Wolf is just kind of... We're going to need to suppress, I think. When we take the 100% execution there, that's an in-the-zone chain that I need to work. X -ray down. Excellent work. Yeah, that mech toy is in a really high ground position. And you are where... You can see him, which I don't want you to see. I'm going to tuck Myers back here, and maybe she'll serve as a target for a little bit. So the first shots on this, I mean, Mammy... <laughs> it's got damage control, so... However, I want to mitigate the risk of me missing both of my heat ammo shots. Yeah, this is this is the part where it gets nasty. They start dropping so much mechanical meat that stuff can get very bad very quickly. I'm actually going to try to strategically go here and fire an allo cannon blast off that won't hit him. 
that will just provide hollow. There's 52 chance. And we probably won't make that 50-50, but let's see. Pistol's better, but I don't want to yeah, I don't want to trigger his um his damage control if I can avoid it. Where is that? Hit and run. No, not this mammy. Jesus, wrong, wrong unit. Executioner, light him up, advanced fire control, combined arms. Sorry, just shows reacts targeting. No, actually, he doesn't have damage control. Oh. I thought he did. Okay. That's less of a concern then. I still want Mammy back here. I don't want him in range of every single one of those freaking things. We could alternatively mind fray him. But he's he's basically inured to mental screw ups, so. We're gonna probably need to keep Krungle suppressing that guy. Okay, there's the reactives, which we needed to deal with. Mammy's cover's still there. Alright. Now, we need to do a couple things here. So Sugar needs to not be in range of two mechtoids at once. Luckily, neither of them have heat ammo, but they do hit like absolute trucks. So if we can pull Sugar back here and just get as close to this guy as possible without being in vision of the other one, and then launch our heat ammo shot. Because that thing, I don't want... I want that thing to have to run up and cheat on us in order to try to hit me. Exactly. So we have Hollow now, which is awesome. We burned the retaliation fire, so let's see if we can't drop this SOB. Fuck, you missed an 87! That was kind of necessary. Jesus. That was obnoxious. I'm kind of depending on that damage. You can't miss shots like that. You really can't. As you can tell by my anguished screaming. Alright. We're gonna try to get Myers to a cover position. I don't think she's gonna be able to provide us a grenade toss. But she may be able to provide us an intel boost. And that's gonna be, you know, worth its weight, I suppose. Now we have 100%. Can we mind fray him? Can we panic him? He's tough to freak out. I'll give him that. The suppression's gonna have to do, honestly. Fuck me, mate. Um... Now, Zergen. Alternatively, we could boost Zhang's Psy power and maybe try to MC the guy. And if we have a Leviathan MC'd, shit's gonna get real for the enemy real quick. That could be an interesting strategy. Depends how risky I want to be. So I'm probably going to think about that one next time. But thanks for tuning into this episode of The Long War. Operation Ashes and Temples, two waves down relatively comfortably. This one's getting a little heavy. It's getting a little heavy, but we have heat ammo, thankfully. Not dependably aimed heat ammo, apparently, but we have it. And we'll just have to see what happens after this. But, um, you know, it could be worse. It could be worse, and we're doing okay. So I will see you all next time on Ashes and Temples. We are holding the line, and we must continue to do so. I've been Urs. Till next time, till then.